Hello third grade, I hope you are doing great. I hope you have had a wonderful weekend. Um, Angeline, I hope you had a wonderful birthday yesterday. Um, today we are getting ready to go over our schedule for Monday, May 4th. Um, cannot believe it is already May um, and we only have four more weeks left of school. So third graders, stay, stay strong, you are almost there. Um, keep doing and working as hard as you are um, and know how proud of you that I am. Um, all right, so let's go over our schedule. So the first thing on our schedule is don't forget that this week we are doing um, Spirit Week. So today is Mother Nature Monday. So you're making something um, out of flowers or something within Mother Nature. Um, and you can submit it to any of the school's social media. It doesn't need to go directly to me. It can also just be posted on there. Um, for skills for reading, you are continuing to track how many words per minute you are reading each day. Remember, I do not need a video. I just want a piece of paper with it all listed out. Um, for math, you are continuing to practice your I ready. Um, you're passing two lessons this week. Um, if you don't want to do I ready, your other option is you can either read the kissing hand, um, which we've We've read together as a class, um, but we're going to do this story again. So you can either click here and it will take you to the Epic page. So here is the story up on Epic. Or you can listen to, I did another read aloud, so you can click this um, and listen to my read aloud of this story as the well. kissing hand. So those are your two options. Um, then your reader's response is, what is the problem of the story and how was the problem solved? Um, so mama and baby raccoon, there is a problem. What was the problem and how did it get solved? Um, if you are not doing the online reading portion, you are doing the offline, which you are just reading any fiction book that you would like to. And again, your reader's response is the same. Um, the next part, we talked about Friday in our class meeting, um, and it is poetry is your first option. And remember, this week we're focusing on all things mom, um, because Sunday, a week from today, is Mother's Day. Um, so your first option is write an acrostic poem for your mom, grandma, auntie, whoever is like a mom in your life. Maybe you want to do one for your mom and your grandma. You are more than welcome to do for whoever you would like to third grade. Um, and an acrostic poem is where certain letters in each line spell out a word or phrase. You can use character traits that describe your mom or use the first letter to start the sentence. You can use their first name, last name, or the word mother, grandma, or auntie. Remember, on Friday when I did it, I just wrote out the word mom. Um, on here, it is Susie. In third grade, we also gave you guys two links. So you can click this one and it is going to take you to a video link. Hello, everyone about how you write acrostic poems. Um, so this can give you a couple more tips or tricks, or if you're like, oh, Ms. Garten, I don't remember, um, you can go to this link or, so that's one of your options, or you can go to this second link. So we gave you two separate videos that you guys can go to um, for resources on to help you with your acrostic poems. Remember, you don't have to pick this one. Um, your other option is, um, write a comical, which means funny, story about your mom, grandma, auntie, whoever is like a mom in your life, and read it to her for Mother's Day. Um, so both of these are phenomenal options for little gifts that you can give mom to honor mom for this Mother's Day. Um, so both of those are your options. Then for math, you are passing two iReady math lessons this week. Um, and remember we talked about your... Um, IXL is focused on area and perimeter, okay? Perimeter is the outside of the shape. So you would add up all the sides versus your area is the inside of the shape. So you're gonna count up your squares or you're gonna multiply your length times your width. Third grade, please remember that you took notes on Friday. Use those as a tool to help you. If you need me or if you are confused, you may always reach out to me and let me know. So you are doing FF1. So I have IXL pulled up on here and we'll do the first one together. 
So we are down here, it's towards the bottom. FF linen is perimeter of rectangles. So remember, perimeter is the outside and you add up all the sides, okay? So I like to add like numbers first. So five plus five, I'm gonna add those together and get 10. Then I'm gonna do four plus four, which is eight. So I'm gonna do 10 plus eight, which is 18. Okay, and it is already giving you the label. Same thing, add up like numbers. Two plus two is four. One plus one is two. So four plus two is six. Um, for area is when it's the square inches or the square centimeters, but you don't need to worry about this for it with this one. This one, you are only focusing on your perimeter. So you're gonna add up all of your outside. Um, and don't forget that you are timing yourself for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, um, your word problem of the day. Lara is building a garden in her backyard. She wants to put a fence around her garden to keep animals from eating her vegetables. The length of the garden is five feet and the width is four feet. How many total fence of how many total feet of fence would she need to build the fence around her garden? And I did give you the hint to draw the picture. Okay, so I'm gonna get out my I'm gonna actually draw my garden. So if I know my length is five feet and my width is four feet, my sides aren't all equal. So if they're not all equal, it's a rectangle, okay? So I'm gonna draw my rectangle to pretend that this is her garden, okay? Length is five feet, length long, length long. So this is five feet. And remember, the parallel side, if this is five feet, this is also five feet. Okay, so I have five feet and five feet, and my width is four feet. So if this is four feet, what would this one be? Okay, and then the question is asking how many total feet of fence would she need to build around her garden? So if she, if this is her garden, how many feet a fence which you need, which means you're finding, it's the outside of the shapes, you're finding your perimeter. So what do you do for your perimeter? And don't forget your label, okay? If I were to go to Home Depot, would I get feet or inches? Because if I needed 30 feet of wood and I only got 30 inches of wood, that's a big difference. So you wanna make sure that you have your label correct, okay? And it does say on here, hint, draw a picture. Third grade, that would be just drawing the same picture that I drew. Okay, alrighty. Then your next one is your inheritance. Remember this week we are focusing on mom. Um, and so to focus on mom, we are drawing a picture of your mom um, or your auntie or your grandma, whoever you would like to. Um, and it says each mom is special and has different traits which make her unique. To celebrate your mom, grandma, auntie, draw a picture of her and label her physical traits. See example. So over here is your example. And then remember, a trait uh, is a characteristic of a living thing. This includes height, hair color, hair texture, hair length, eye color, face shape, freckles, dimples, cleft chin, attached earlobes, free earlobes, etc. As you are drawing, think about your traits that are natural, so the ones that are inherited from your parents. So we really talked about this um, when we were talking about traits. And remember I told you that my mom has blue eyes, but my dad has brown eyes. So whose trait did I inherit? Did I inherit my eye color from my mom who has blue eyes or my dad who has brown eyes, okay? Um, and remember this week, you guys can hang on to all of this stuff because this could be a really great gift that you give mom on Sunday for Mother's Day. So third grade, this is our schedule. Um, a lot of fun stuff going on. Don't forget it is Spirit Week. Um, you can submit all of your pictures through the social media, through the schools. Um, you can also, you can send them to me, but it's gonna be quicker if you just go through the school social media. Um, and this week I have also added more class meetings. So we are gonna meet Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, so I hope that you are able to join us. Remember, those are completely optional. Wednesday, we'll be going over math. So we're going to be doing some math activities in our meeting. Uh, Thursday, we'll be reading activities. And Friday, we'll be going over our schedule and then doing an art activity together. So 
third grade. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week. I can't wait to see your Spirit Week pictures. Um, I hope you've spoiled mom lots this week because mom has done so much. Your auntie, your grandma, um, they all deserve to be spoiled this week. So third grade, I will see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your weekend.